there are drawbacks to a throat vibrato. Sometimes it can result in a nanny goat vibrato that is too fast. In other individuals, the vibrato can be choked off at each pulse. In both cases, it is important to support properly the tone and view the vibrato as coloration or gentle massaging of the tone. In all cases, seek to relax the throat area and allow free movement. Using the throat for vibrato allows for vibrato to be independent of fingering and pitch control. However, I many times find students restarting the vibrato with each note change. Take for instance the pickup to line 7 in Weisenborn's study number 35. Often it is played like this. There are times at which I will restart my vibrato like that. However, that is a coloration of the notes rather than an expression of musical motion or phrasing. I prefer to be able to do both. Many of my students, however, at first can only turn on the vibrato with the start of each note. Let's practice the musical phrase, a drive with dynamics and vibrato on a monotone. Playing on a single tone is a great practice method for musical gestures. This really helps you to isolate musical phrasing, dynamics, and vibrato. I will set the metronome so that you can hear the beats. Did you hear that I'm shaping the notes, driving the notes, to the downbeat of the second measure? Here it is again. Did you notice that I am varying both the dynamics and my vibrato? Both are creating a continuous arc or rainbow of sound that is not chopped up. Now let's hear that as written but retaining the same phrase shape. Just a few studies ago, Weisenborn provided us with another example for practicing vibrato. Take a look at the opening of study number 33. For instance, I start with two two-bar gestures followed by a much longer phrase. Notice that I use changes in the dynamics and vibrato to emphasize the phrase shaping. You can practice mastery of your vibrato by varying the speed. Set the metronome to 60 and try varying the number of pulses per beat.
Most often, people increase the speed of their vibratos in tandem with an increase in dynamics. This is what I did in the two examples earlier in this video. However, if you really want mastery of vibrato, you need to vary the speed at any dynamic. You will know that you have gained independent control of components 1 and 2 when you can perform these exercises. Thank uh -huh. 